Okay, uh, this is the talk, uh, Make Your Own Mobile Game in 60 Minutes and Have the Knowledge to Start Your Own Mobile Game Company. Uh, the talk is sponsored by chromacoders.org, uh, which is pretty much a national game dev club to help inspire students to work in teams and do games. Um, this uh, talk has actually been given at various universities, uh, at various game dev clubs at various universities, such as University of Texas, Austin, the University of Michigan, Ann Arbor, etc., etc. Uh, and one of the requests by some of the students was that they could actually find this talk online. And that was, that's the motivation of uh, putting this talk online. Uh, and this is the part one of it. So this talk will pretty much uh, guide you to how to make a game in 60 minutes. And there's actually an interactive lab during the talk, which will show you and walk you through making your first game. Uh, so let's get started. OK, so first uh, what I'm going to do is ask you to download the Chrome SDK and what you need to do is just go here to this site anscamobile.com right there and when you go to that site you're right here and you what you want to do is you want to click on try corona so what you'll have to do here is sign up and register uh, some students were a little concerned about this uh, don't be too concerned you know there you just need that registration uh, so that you can um, log into the system when you've downloaded the client and so once you actually register you'll be able to download the client and uh, you know download it for Mac or for PC now another concern that I've I've had students ask uh, when I was giving the talk is uh, you know Corona is actually a paid thing you know they, they do have a trial version that you're downloading but then if you actually want the paid version you're gonna have to pay money now, you know, these numbers throw a lot of students off. They're like, you know, why should I even do this? I would rather use the native uh, SDK, you know, for Android or for iPhone. And uh, my suggestion is not to do that because Corona allows you to literally make a game in 60 minutes. That's really why this talk is even possible. Uh, the other thing is that uh, the Corona trial version allows you to use everything that the, uh, that the paid version has, everything. The only difference is, is that you're not allowed to deploy the actual final product to the market, whether it's iPhone market or Android market or Kindle or Nook. So, you know, pretty much make your game, you know, make it in Corona, make it awesome. If it's something that people really like, then you can say, hey, you know what, maybe I will pay for the, uh, the license, the indie license or something else like that. Now, if worse comes to worse, and you do have an awesome game. As I said, chromacoders.org is sponsoring this talk, and the goal is to get students to actually make games. So if you have an awesome game and you still cannot pay for the license, then send an email to support at chromacoders.org, and we will find a way to get you a license. Um, so do not worry about that. The goal is just so that you actually complete a game. Um, you know, that's the motivation for this talk, is that you and hopefully you know another friend or someone else uh, at your school or around you or another student or like-minded person that you work with will actually make a game together. And um, you know, once you have that game, it'll really be awesome for your portfolio and other things, which we'll get into uh, next. So once you do all those downloads, um, let's okay, let's continue this. Hang on. Okay. So you download that, and then um, don't forget to download. The next step is to actually download the JDK the Java JDK. So what you do is you go through this link right here, okay, and um, you know you follow that link and you go here and then you hit uh, you know you go through the JDK which is this thing here. You click on that and it'll take you to this page and make sure you download the 32-bit version of Java. You know, I know even if you have 64-bit Windows, don't worry about that. Make sure you download the 32-bit version. Uh, the reason for that is because um, sometimes I guess like when they're when you're finally making that final game and then you put it on your phone there's an installation error if you actually use the 64-bit version sometimes I mean that's so I've seen that issue happen when I've given this talk at various universities uh, where only some of the students could actually run the final game on their phone uh, but not all the students so this helps address that issue so make sure you get the 32-bit version awesome now um, and then finally uh, make sure you download notepad plus plus whoops Let's go back here, notepad++.org. And what that does is it's a, it's like a editor so that when you open up the Lua code, uh, Lua is the language that Chrome SDK uses. Uh, it'll do syntax highlighting for Lua. Uh, so it's really helpful and useful. 
Okay, so um, now let's move on to the next thing, uh, which is the game developer dream. Uh, what's really cool right now is that we're in a time in the game industry where <coughs> pretty much indie developers, small developers, even student developers can have a successful game. Um, a lot of players, a lot of people who are getting these mobile devices, they're a lot of them are actually playing games. This is a time where um, the business models for games, where people can get games for free, um, you know, and where it's game developers, even though they're giving it away for free, they can use advertising to monetize their game or in-app purchases or something else like that. This is a time where indie developers, a lot of them can can have a lot of success. So you can pretty much make a game that you want to make uh, and work with the people you want to work with and make the money you want to make. So it's a really exciting time. And so you look at this image here, that Ferrari, um, John Carmack, <coughs> is right next to that Ferrari, and he's the guy who made or helped make Doom. And then you have these um, uh, game conferences, like these kind of uh, game uh, player conferences, like you know for World of Warcraft and something else like that. So, you know, people are really excited about games. I think it, gaming is actually the number one activity on mobile phones, probably. Um, yeah, so it's like one of the alternative activities. I don't know if it's really um, if it surpasses even talking on the phone or you know internet browsing, but it's it's one of the very popular ones. And um, so there you go. And uh, just you know to show you what's possible, I'm going to App Annie, App Annie, which kind of shows you the list of top grossing games and also top free and paid games for iPhone. And you look at some of these top games. Some of these games like Temple Run. It's an indie game, you know. It's you know made by a small team. It's not a big company. It's same with Dragon Veil. It's a dragon MMO, but it's done by a small company. Tiny Tower, you know, done by Nimblebit, which I think is just pretty much two people. And these are top grossing games. And top grossing games on the iPhone are making you know millions every month, up to you know it's it's been heard that top grossing games make about five million a month on the iPhone. So uh, so this is an exciting time. Uh, let's go on to the next thing. Uh, this is another reminder, you know, make sure you download the Chrome SDK because you'll need that need it for the um, the part of the, the interactive lab in the talk where you'll actually be making your own game. Okay, so uh, we kind of talked about the game developer dream. Um, so here's another part of that game developer dream. Um, Blast Monkeys was the number one game uh, on Android this summer, and uh, and so that was done in Corona. You know, that was done. Uh, you know, I work alongside and I meet other various developers and uh, this guy was another guy who used a Chrome SDK and he was able to make the number one game. So the Chrome SDK, even though it's really fun to use and really easy to use, it's um, it allows you to make a successful game and, and I'll show you a video of that game. And then the other game uh, that, I, that I helped work on was called Zoo Club which also became uh, in the top 10 this summer on Android. And so let's, uh, let's look at the videos for these games. Um, just to show you what's possible with Corona. Okay, so here's Blast Monkeys. And it pretty much leverages the physics engine that's built into Corona. Really simple and really addictive. Yeah, there you go. really simple really addictive um, and you know that was done in Corona and now Zoo Club actually let me make sure I stop this and then Zoo Club right here this is an MMO and this was done in Corona too and so it has a it has like social aspects it has gifting aspects um, you're pretty much running your own zoo uh, it's kind of cool and um, you know you have an avatar maker all these other things and this was also done in Corona. Uh, you have little physics or zoo shows where you're actually um, flinging the animals uh, you know, to, to get food. And okay. And you have your own aquarium and stuff like that. Okay. Okay, so those two games were done in Corona and just, just gives you a taste of what's possible with Corona. And just to show you the flexibility, because usually when a tool is, allows you to make a game really quickly, it's not usually powerful enough to do something that's customer unique or compelling. I think Corona allows for that, and that's a display. And it also shows that small developers, you know, we were small teams. Uh, the Blast Monkeys team was very small, uh, the Zoo Club team is very small, and we were able to have uh, success in the mobile market. 
Okay, I showed you that, and I showed you the Zoo Club demo. Okay, so you know what? That ends the uh, part one of this uh, this video tutorial. And so the next part is we'll actually dive into why make a mobile game and some of the game mechanics, the game design behind uh, mobile games. Um, so there you go. Uh, thanks again, and uh, hope to see you in the next video.